Good morning, Scallywags. Spoo here with another mindless drivel, and I am joined today by the wonderful Duder, my daughter. Yes, it is uh, Daddy Daughter Week all week here at Scallywag Productions. Figured we're stuck here on quarantine, so, you know, why not? Because of the stupid coronavirus. That's right. So if you're anything like me, the whole novelty of spending all day at home stuck in quarantine, well, it's kind of wearing off. What started off as, I don't want to go to work today, has basically turned into, God, I just want to go to work today. If you told me a year ago that sitting around the house in my PJs 24-7, watching TV, binge-watching movies and TV shows on Netflix, playing video games, watching YouTube, playing board games, and just basically being lazy, if you told me that that was going to get old, I would have told you you were insane. And yet... Here we are! And it has gotten boring. Yeah, it, exactly. Actually, I have not played a video game. Playing a video game is not on the phone, on the computer. It's like a remote control. So you're talking like an Xbox or a PlayStation? Yes. Yeah, which, which, oddly enough, we don't have here at the house. And I'm wishing to God we did. So anybody out there got one you want to get rid of, give me a shout because I will gladly take it off your hands right now. <laughs> I will snatch it out of your hands. Yes. <laughs> if I have to, I'm not afraid to go there. But I mean, even when it comes down to making videos, I mean, yeah, there's a ton of stuff going on both in the entertainment world and out of the entertainment world. But seeing as how pretty much everything that's happening either is directly about the coronavirus or it's at least affected by the coronavirus, it's like I'm kind of getting tired of talking about it. Oh. All right, you, you all right over there? No. Okay. I'm just ready for things to go back to being normal again. I'm not. I hate school. Well, that's going to come up here shortly. <sighs> I have sort of a morbid sense of, well, everything. So there is a part of me that at least thinks it's kind of cool to be living through what is essentially a historic event. I mean, years from now, schools are going to be teaching about this time in history to kids in school. I mean, odd, oddly enough, in a sick, morbid, twisted kind of way, I kind of would like to get the virus just so I can say that, you know, I was there, I survived. No. I, I mean, no. yeah, probably not the best of ideas. I agree. No. I said it was a sick and twisted kind of way, but that's just me. And the thought about kids learning about this in school kind of got me wondering, do kids really know what's going on? No. No? I mean, basically, as far as kids know, they left for spring break and then summer started early, so they never had to go back. And keeping a child entertained can be a little bit of a challenge. Actually, just give me the phone and I'll be entertained. <laughs> That's pretty much my life. And if you looked at my little script here, it actually says, Some have the luxuries of having games or phones to keep them occupied. Good timing. Some of them actually still play with toys even, but probably haven't exactly kept up on current events. So I thought it would be fun to bring Duder in here and uh, just ask her a few questions and just to see if we can get a general idea of what do they know? How, how are they viewing this whole thing? What is the pandemic through the eyes of a child? So you uh, you ready to do this? Maybe. Maybe. Well, here we go. We. <laughs> okay. What is COVID nineteen? A virus. A virus. <laughs> that, 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 do you know anything else about it? Uh, it makes people sick. Um, some people die. Dogs can get it. It's true. Not a lot of people know that. There's actually been two reported cases of dogs and even one cat that has gotten the coronavirus. Is it Lily? Lily? I do not want my cat to get the coronavirus. That's not your cat. I'm sure you would probably know if it was. Yeah, cause she, well, might have been, might be her. Blah, blah, blah. It might be her because she's acting weird. Maybe. You know? I think if she had it, you or your mom would probably have it. Oh yeah, cause I spend a lot of time around my cat. I yeah. pick her up all the time, I feed her all the time, I pet her all the time. So yeah, it's not her. No, good, we're glad we cleared that up. Where did it start? I think China. That's right. Very good. What happens to a person if they get it? I said that. Well, they... you said they get sick, but I mean, like, how? What? What? Okay. In what way do they get sick? Cough, sneeze, diarrhea sometimes. Maybe die. It's not too far off. Basically, you're gonna get a high fever, uh, a cough. It's it's a real dry cough, hard to breathe. Sometimes it can have diarrhea attached to it, but very rarely. Remember that people that are hoarding all the toilet paper. Cause you're overreacting about it. But yeah, not too far off. You got you get a lot of it. There. Are you afraid of getting it? Yes and no. Yes and no? Can you, uh, what do you mean? Yes, because I don't want to get sick, and two, 
kids rarely get it and it will clear off fast. No, it's not, it doesn't seem to be quite as severe for kids, especially kids your age, because you're still building your immune system, so it can, it's a little, makes it a little easier for it to fight things off. Yeah. Well, that's good. Glad you're not too, too scared. And kind of, guess what? I watched that movie, It Sells at Work. My cells can do that too. Oh, yeah. I'll fight off all that germs. The, the TV show, the anime, Sells at Work. It's on Netflix. If you haven't seen it, go check it out because not only is it highly entertaining, but it will actually uh, teach you a little something you might not have known. That goes around in your body. Yeah. Like cells, red cells, white cells. What is the best part about being stuck in quarantine? Not having to go to school. What's the worst part? Not being able to go to school. <laughs> like... This is what happens to kids. I hate school, but then they don't get school and they were like, you know what? I want to go back to school. Yeah, I, I feel you because I kind of I wish I could go back to work right now Just just to have something to do if nothing else right now I would be gladly okay to do I'm not please don't make me do this though I'm okay to do math right now. I hate math, but I'm okay to do it right See, now. We've actually uh, we've actually kind of made some some little school type plan things Home around school. the house homeschooling type stuff Nothing that's like too serious and we're not like okay now you must sit and learn like we've tried to make it you know somewhat fun and uh, I mean have you had fun with those so far you were asking earlier of that like, you you were actually pretty excited about doing some spelling and stuff this week yeah so yeah so idea for the parents out there make little fun lessons you know make it fun for them to learn but still allows them to learn something yeah but don't make it actually eight hours a day. oh god no 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 we do mine we do is like, like only three hours it may be like we do we do one subject and then we take a break we do another subject we take a break no it's like we do two subjects then free time then like three subjects free time and then we keep on going yeah, but it just takes a few hours and and all of the lessons are really quick they're really fun but still lets her you know learn something in the process yeah. so just something you guys might want to try just just throwing it out there how do you think people are handling this quarantine thing <sighs> hard you want to elaborate a little bit on that hardly they're hardly doing it so like the, the whole toilet paper thing and well they're trying to fight it off they're hardly even doing anything that and that yeah well i'm glad we cleared that up so basically you've got some people that aren't really acting any differently than they normally would and then yeah. you've got others that are overreacting like like me if i got that thing i would go crazy i already go crazy all the time there you have it if i got it i would just be more crazier than i usually am I, let's hope you don't get it then what so so how should people be acting <sighs> calm not even worrying about it. Not overreacting about toilet paper. Yeah, we went to Walmart. Um, yeah, we went to Walmart. <laughs> we went to Walmart, and like the whole entire aisle was just empty. There was one pack left. Mm -hmm. One pack of twelve. And it's the cheap stuff that doesn't even feel good in the first place. So it's like if it's a good stuff, it's gone before you even get a chance to, to grab it. So yeah, this isn't about your butt, people. So <laughs> stop worrying about the toilet paper. Sorry if that offended you, but it's true. So if we were to run out of toilet paper, fortunately we have plenty, but if we ran out, what would you do? I would get a washcloth, clean it, and then take a shower and wash all the rest of it off. Smart kid. So if you did the shopping for the family, what would you get? Things we need and then an LOL doll. <laughs> I have been wanting Candylicious so much. <sighs> well, so you're pretty upset then that they're, they've pretty much closed off the toy section altogether now? Do you know about that? Yeah. Hey, we can still order it online. Anybody know about canceling online too? Can the coronavirus get to online too? So far it hasn't, but uh, I mean, they keep taking stuff away from us. We're going to lose the internet sooner or later. They can't. If, if the screen suddenly goes black, then... What's your favorite way to pass the time while stuck at home? Me too. How long do you think this whole thing's going to last? <sighs> 20 years later uh so, yeah, yeah you better not last for another 20 years <laughs> yeah maybe we should do the thing i like spray the spongebob 20 years later yeah right <laughs> what's the first thing you want to get out and do once the quarantine is over school you want to go back to school no get another old doll the omg of old doll get another old doll and then go to school is there anybody that you hope gets the virus him no d e v l I -L. She wants the devil to get the coronavirus. And everybody there. Any anybody in there. And anyone. are there 
Are there any questions that you have about the coronavirus? <sighs> yes. What? One question, actually. Okay. Will it affect your life? Like, will it change your life? No. I mean, you, you get it, and then you, you get over it, just like you get over any other kind of sickness. I'm tired. Does that make you feel better? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> is, it, is it nap time now? All right, then. We're going to go take a nap. So go ahead and ask your kids some questions, and let me know what they had to say down in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel because we do this every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and all this week is gonna be Daddy-Daughter Day, so she'll be back with me here on Wednesday. Check us out across all of our social media. You got Facebook, you got Instagram, you got Twitter. Yeah. Gonna mess anything up while you're talking? I've been stumbling all over my <laughs> words here, so you, maybe I'll, I don't know, some outtake video someday, but not right now, hey! Also, while you're out there, be sure to stop by www.geekycool.com. Yes, I am. It's your one-stop shop for all things nerd. Like this one. Not I only not can you nerd. find videos just like this one, but you can also find articles, reviews, games, movies, comics, you name it. If it's a nerd type of subject, you're gonna find it right there in one spot. That's www.geekycool. Dot com. That's gonna wrap it up, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the video. Good one. Oh, dear God, what did you eat? We'll see you next time. Maybe it was the Dr. Pepper and pickle juice. Thanks for watching.